Happy Friday from all of us at the Cambria Regional Chamber of Commerce. So much to do this coming weekend. And last weekend, the streets of Johnstown were absolutely flooded with students from UPJ. It was so awesome to see so many young people enjoying downtown, many for the first time. The UPJ freshmen had the opportunity to get involved in community service, create some cool art, and enjoy some experiences like Gallery on Gazebo's Cycle Johnstown Bike Tour. Students also were treated to lunch at nine local eateries, courtesy of the university. Vision Together 2025 held a community update this week in an effort to share the organization's priority goals and encourage people to share their ideas. Area lawmakers provided updates and those in attendance were encouraged to share suggestions. Big thanks to the John B. Gunter leadership team whose Story Walk is now up and ready for visitors. The team kicked off the Story Walk with a ribbon cutting ceremony this past weekend during Stackhouse Park's third annual Arts Festival. The project is a collaboration with Stack House, the Cambria County Library, and Beginnings. We were happy to join Allegheny Unlimited Care providers as they cut the ribbon on a new residential location in St. Michael's. The home is named for Arlen Iris Edelstein, a 40-year client who was scheduled to move into the home but passed away before being able to. Known for her kindness, determination, and dedication to making life better for others, Arlen's friends and family were on hand for the home dedication, which will include her portrait and poems. Employees at Concurrent Technologies Corporation headquarters in Johnstown enjoyed a picnic lunch to celebrate CTC's 35th anniversary. CTC contributes to a wide range of military and commercial projects, including those in engineering and manufacturing and information technology. Congratulations, CTC, on 35 years. We wish you continued success. Johnstown Elementary School introduced an exciting new place for learning this week at their school on Westgate Drive. A ribbon cutting was held to officially open the new social and emotional outdoor learning classroom. What cool space. Friday night lights kicked off for many high schools last week and four area high schools used the nights to team up for hunger, helping out the Cambria County Backpack Project. Food items were collected at the Richland and Forest Hills game and Northern Cambria and Cambria Heights crammed the van for the coal bowl. Thousands of food items were collected. We had an absolutely beautiful day for kayaking at the Wilmore Dam last Saturday. Big thanks to Mike Cook, Amanda and Greg Lips of the Ben's Creek Canoe Club for leading our CR adventure. It was a great day to be outdoors and such a beautiful and peaceful way to spend the day. Lots to do this holiday weekend, including the Community Arts Center of Cambria County's popular Log House Festival. This is the 51st annual Log House Arts Festival. There'll be lots of handcrafted vendors, great food and entertainment. The streets of Cambria City will be hopping tonight as Ethnic Fest kicks off. Lots of music, food and exhibits that goes all weekend. So get out and enjoy and happy Friday. Good News Friday is brought to you by Wessel & Company and First Summit Bank.